Amanda, we're ready now, aren't we? Yes, we're going to bat this one out of the park. Oh, a good grief, I just looked up there. That's a he- we're in one of the main lecture theatres at Harper, Harper Adams. I think I've been in here once before for a Nuffield uh, conference thing. It's, um, oh, the, 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 it's, it's a gift that never keeps giving, isn't it, Harper Adams? Why? Just, just, just give us your background and tell us why you're at Harper Adams, please. What's your background? I'm from Jamaica in the Caribbean. I worked in project management and research before joining the institution where I would have developed a number of projects and programs to strengthen micro, medium sized and small enterprises within okay. Jamaica, as well as I operate a non-government organization yeah. that is really geared towards improving the agricultural space, yeah. particularly for smallholders. Yeah. So I, I get that, and it's such an important um, role and background that you've had. And obviously, Jamaica goes without saying is, is, is a beautiful uh, country. Why Harper Adams? Why are you at Harper Adams? Why have you selected Harper Adams to educate you further? So to give you a bit of context, as it relates to our industry, our agricultural industry, that is, we import four times the amount in value of food that we actually export. Yeah, okay. And interacting with farmers, I noticed that there were a number of gaps related to them being able to be incorporated into formal supply chains. Yeah. Therefore, I believe that me being able to provide a ser- further support as it relates to yeah. developing their enterprises, yeah. I would need to further refine my skills. Yeah. Okay, but you could have gone to yes. other universities. I'm just thinking of the plethora mm-hmm. of universities in the likes of the, uh, uh, of the states or even uh, South Africa or even Australia. Did you ascertain that Harper Adams was going to give you that toolkit uh, better than uh, other, other institutions? No offence to those other institutions, but did you assess that Harper was going to be the best for you? Certainly. I had done extensive research as it relates to similar organisations within yeah. the UK, and Harper stood out to me for a number of reasons. Okay. For one, they had just launched what is known as the UK's first school of sustainable food and farming, yeah. and they are driving British agriculture as it re- relates to net zero. Yeah. Okay. Not only that, but in terms of their agricultural industry, yeah. I would have noted the progress made and how it is that Harper Adams would have contributed yeah. significantly to that. Yeah, okay. Additionally, the school or the organization also operates its own commercial farm. Yeah. And that's really key for me because it's not just about theory, but there's yeah. also the practical application. And I thought I'll be able to benefit from those insights okay. as well as the innovation yeah. and the cutting edge research that was being done. Okay, so standing here today in the middle of uh, April, end, end of April, are you still confident that with what you're being taught, that when you go back to Jamaica, that you'll be able to uplift um, your areas of specialization within Jamaica? Oh, yes. I am <laughs> thoroughly satisfied with the content. Yeah. It wasn't just theory application, but I also had the opportunity to interact with industry experts. Yeah, okay. And uh, these stakeholders, they're operating massive supply chains yeah. that span many countries. Yeah. So considering the information, the application, the industry networks that I've been able to establish yeah. and all the support that I've been provided, I do believe I'll be able to adapt yeah. that information to our and, local And it's so context. important, it, isn't it? Just, just apart from learning from a book, to actually hear um, uh, hands-on experience and, and experience hands-on mm-hmm. from um, people that have had um, issues before that they've managed to create solutions for that you can learn from and adapt uh, to, to tailor as, as you require to take that back to, back to Jamaica. It's, it's going to be invaluable. Oh, certainly. And I must add as well, it was also the cultural diversity yeah. within and outside the classroom. So I had uh, colleagues who were from various countries and they were able to share their perspective ah. in terms of how it is that they operate within their okay. space. And uh, from that, I would have taken quite a bit of strategies and uh, practices Excellent. and yeah. principles that I'm just excited to implement back home. And, and you mentioned that when we were trying, trying to find this, uh, this lovely lecture theatre, the film, the community mm-hmm. and the support that you've been given as well has been, has been um, instrumental for you as well? Oh, yes, yes. So again, it extends beyond the classroom. I also operate an enterprise back home. Yeah. And through the Agritech project that is being implemented by Harper Adams and the Aston University, I personally have benefited from hand-holding support. Yeah, okay. And come and tell us, when you go back to uh, Jamaica, what's the plan? 
with everything that this toolbox I keep on describing, with everything you know, what's the plan? What are you going to do? What are you going to implement? What difference are you going to make? <laughs> so the immediate actions will really stem from my dissertation, where I'll be looking at small do smallholders' access to markets in yeah. Jamaica. Okay. So with that, I'll be pulling some of the recommendations yeah. and applying them through projects and programs yeah. that I will be developing going forward. Okay. And have you got a, ooh, have you got a goal in mind? It feels like, like you, you are a very special person that you're, you're, you're looking to do something significant uh, for, for Jamaica. What's the plan? What, what, does, what does success look, for, look like for you from everything that you've learned at Harper Adams when you get back to Jamaica? What does success look like? So I know this may sound a bit broader, but in Jamaica we have what is known as Jamaica's 2030 National Development Plan. Yep. And within their, that plan, there are some key metrics as it relates to rural development, agricultural development. So my intention is to further look at those broad goals yep. and thereafter to develop projects yeah. that will uh, contribute individually to those goals. Yep. And from there, I will further define what success is as it relates to those specifically. Yeah, I think you're being so modest. I think you'll want to watch. I think you're going to create <laughs> so much, I can just tell you're going to create, I think everyone else can, you're going to create so much significant change when you get there, get back there, and leading you, uh, that's been uh, instrumental because of the, what, what you've learned at Harper Adams. So, so that, that partnership between yourself and Harper is, is unique and will continue to be unique. Oh, yes, yes, okay. yes. Additionally, as you mentioned just now, the ongoing support that that is being done now through that specific project that I spoke to, yeah. it will be continuing after my time with Harper, Harper Adams. Yeah. So it's really... I don't want to say that um, it's a relationship that has been formed and will continue to evolve over time because I do, do see how it is that we can f benefit from further partnerships in the future with the university. Amanda, uh, wrap up for us. Tell me um, how you describe Harper Adams University in one sentence. <laughs> If you are interested in expanding your career related to agriculture, you need to be at Harper Adams. You'll be receiving the best info information that exists currently, and you'll also be getting the information that you will need 10 years, 20 years from now to really make a difference in your field. The industry network connections, the content, the hands-on support, the facilities, it is just cutting edge. Amanda, I think everyone will agree with me, you're brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.